What if we replace the straight line in this graph having gradient of 1 over RD with a vertical line? Like this. This will give a poorer approximation but speed up our process even more. In some stages of design, we can use such a simple model preferring it to complex ones. In the graph, you can see that VDO is 0.7 volts. Putting it in this equation, with RD equals to 0, we see that VD is equal to VD0. So, our model becomes on your bottom left. The current is given by ID equals VDD minus VD over R to be 4.3 milliamperes using values from example in previous lesson. These values are not too different from the ones we calculated in previous lesson. If, however, the voltages are much greater than 0.7 volts, we may drop the voltage drop completely and use just an ideal diode. Look at the figure on your bottom left again. Here, VD equals 0 volts. ID is given by this equation which results in a value of 5 milliamperes using values of VDD and R from the example in the previous lesson. It can be argued that constant voltage drop model would not increase the work involved in solving this. That would be a correct argument. This approach is rather more useful when you want to look at which diodes will be on and off in a multi-diode circuit. Otherwise, the constant voltage drop model is good.